Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Guess what? In this video, I'll try to explain the Kosarajos algorithm in a very intuitive way without using any mathematics. So if you're expecting any mathematical proofs, this video isn't for you. If you're still watching the video, let's move on. The entire Coast Rajas algorithm is based on one fact. It goes like this. If you can reach vertex V from vertex U, and also if you can reach vertex U from vertex V, then U and V are said to be reachable and there exists a path between U and V. The Coast Rajas algorithm uses two traversals. One traversal on the original graph and another one on, on the reverse graph. In the first traversal, we are trying, trying to, to do this part of the statement. And in the second traversal, we are trying to do this part of the statement. Now, let us try to understand this algorithm using an example. We can see that there are three connected components in the graph. Now, let us try to devise this algorithm on this graph and see how it works. I will group all the vertices in a connected component into a single node and leave, and leave the connecting edges between these connected components as it is. There is no such edge between these connected components, otherwise these two components would be grouped as one connected component because it forms a cycle. Because all of the vertices can be reached using this edge and it forms a connected component. Now let's reverse these edges. Reversing the edges doesn't matter to the connected components because even if we reverse the edges, every node in this connected component is still reachable to each other. Yeah, everybody knows about this shit. Now let's talk about the important aspect of this algorithm. We need a particular order of vertices of this graph in such a way that all the vertices of a connected component are processed before a single vertex in another connected component. If there's an edge between this vertex to this connected component, we'll get to know why in a few seconds. So I have already said that we need to process all the vertices in this component before we process all the vertices in this component. So you can see that there's an edge between this vertex to this component. Here we can clearly see that we are going down through an edge recursively till all the edges are being processed. So what are the traversals we have in the graph theory? A DFS and a VFS. So which suits more for our purpose now? DFS is by nature recursive and does the exact same thing what we want now. So, DFS is the right answer. So now we can stay rest assured that all these vertices are processed first before this component. So now let's get back to the unreversed graph. So now how are we going to use this order of vertices? You can see that the stack is filled according to the finishing times so the bottom of the stack has so the bottom of the stack has a vertex which finished first and the top of the stack is a vertex which finished last so it means when we pop each vertex from the stack and we do a traversal on the reversal graph using this vertex which we have just popped from the stack we can see that there is no way that the traversal proceeds into another connected component because we have reversed the connecting edges between the connected components. This is the first time I have used the word connected that many times. Whew. We can check ourselves that it doesn't matter which vertex we use to fill up the stack in the original graph. Because an entire set of vertices of a connected component are pushed into the stack before any other vertex in another connected component is pushed into the stack. So that's how the Coast Rajas algorithm work and thanks for watching guys. Happy coding. Until next time. Peace.